Hello, this is Christian Fint for ABP Tech Canada and ABP Tech International. Today I want to show you how to properly focus a Mobotics camera and one of those cameras where you have to add the lens at the uh, after you purchase the camera at the camera body directly. Now that would be true for example for a P26 um, in certain regards for an M26, a D26 just to name a few other cameras. Now I'm here in the IP Tech View platform and we'll connect to an ABP camera in Dallas in the showroom. Um, I apologize in advance that this camera is already fully set up. Unfortunately, I did not have the time to get a camera of my own to really do this properly. Um, so just imagine that this picture would not be in focus. It would be a blurred picture uh, and you're just about to screw in the, ca the lens. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to switch to a resolution which allows you to see the full image. So in this case, that's already been done. Where, um, if you check out the image size here, you see it's set to XGA. Um, that's for my screen here, a good resolution. But if you have a lower resolution for the computer you're doing it with, choose SVGA or VGA. After you've done that, um, the next step would be to switch on the focusing aid. So in cameras with an audio module, you can switch it on with audio. The higher the tone, the more in focus the lens is. Uh, or in this case, because we can't hear the camera anyhow, I enable just the optical visual uh, sensor. And you see here the rectangle in the middle, as well as the green bar which will go up uh, eventually a little bit more because that's, uh, yeah, that's just not good. Now I have to tell you that again, it is uh, almost 9 p.m. and uh, this camera is in the showroom, so lights are out. This is a really poor lighting condition uh, resulting in this really not so good image. But um, as you can see here, the green bar is moving and we do have it focused here on our demo wall. Now, after you've done that, so now, again, imagine it's blurred. You're now screwing in the, the lens. The more you screw in the lens, the tighter it should become, uh, meaning you only have to do this once. So you tighten it until this picture becomes focused. Now, unfortunately, you many people might think they're done and this is focused, but unfortunately it isn't. To really check that this camera is 100% in focus, you need to ramp up the image quality, the image size, to the highest resolution possible of this camera. So this is a six series camera. Um, in that case, it's six megapixel. If it would be a seven series camera, but there is no seven series camera yet where you need to adjust the focusing ma manually, that's all been done from the sensor lens module modules, uh, then it would be 8 megapixel, 4K or 8 megapixel. So in this case, it's just 6 megapixel. So after you basically switched on the highest resolution, then you check again. And trust me, in most cases, you will still need to fine tune. Okay. Now, again, um, if the lens is not tightening, the further you screw it in, and it stays very loose, uh, please let us know. That might be a reason for a return and an exchange of the camera because the lens should tighten the further you drill it in. Okay, and then once you're done, once this this bar, uh, even in, in great lighting conditions, uh, I saw it maximum going here to the right side um, of the of the square or not square uh, rectangle. 60% from the whole image. Uh, so don't expect it to go all the way to the right. It simply won't happen. But if you are satisfied with what you're seeing here, then you have correctly focused the camera. You return um, to the image size, bring it back to the lower resolution, which you had selected before, or which makes sense for proper live streaming. Now, at this point, uh, you can also switch off the focusing aid, disabling it here. Uh, many partners always ask me why the lower resolution for live streaming? Why don't I stay with 6 megapixel? Well, very simple, because you don't really have to. Uh, 
there are a certain of situations where a six megapixel live stream would make sense, uh, mainly for live monitoring of crowds, so you can digitally zoom in better. But in most other cases, it is it would be enough to switch on here in the setup menu, full image recording on the bottom. So that's been done here. So the full image will be recorded at six megapixel. Um, you can also check change if you need to the image quality, but for security purposes, 60% high is good enough normally. Um, once the six megapixel is basically switched on here, the live stream can be lower and you still get the six megapixel in recordings. Again, that's it uh, for focusing the proper or the proper way of focusing a lens in a Mobotics camera. If you have questions, please feel free to get back to us. And thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.